Um, my name is Benoit Bouron. I'm working for uh, the CSP player Solar Your Red. And uh, firstly, I would like to thank you for attending the, this conference. Uh, this presentation will uh, show how to model linear Fresnel technology and more especially Solar Euromed uh, technology. So uh, firstly, I will present briefly uh, the, the company and its technology and its plans. And then I will focus on <coughs> the comparison of our in-house software and the software SAM. Can you move on to the next slide, please? So firstly, I will briefly uh, introduce myself. My name is Benoit Gouron. I'm an intern since April 20, uh, 2013 at Solar Um I am part of the project development team. And my internship advisor is uh, Simon Ben Maraz, who is uh, the Deputy General Manager of Solar Yermed. Uh, previously, uh, I have already used the software SAM uh, during my studies at the University Politecnica of Madrid. And uh, in addition, me, with my work uh, <coughs> on SAM uh, at Solar Yermed, I, I, I gained the expertise on how to use this software. So. This is the reason why uh, I, I compared both uh, software. Can you move on to the next slide, please? So now uh, I would like to introduce the company and its uh, technology. So Solar Yermed is a leader in the CSP technology with innovative linear fresnel technology. Uh, we provide direct steam generation systems solar boiler system for uh, power generation and industrial applications at medium and high temperature uh, of steam. So the, um, the company was founded in 2007, as, uh, firstly after several strategic studies, especially on parabolic growth, we decided to focus on the linear fresnel technology because of its uh, environmental assets and its uh, possibility to reduce uh, production costs. Um, then Solar Yermed has implemented a comprehensive development roadmap including performance, performance solar boiler with various <coughs> demonstration projects such as Augustin Fresnel's one and uh, Linear uh, and LSR 500. Then I would like to talk about uh, the commercial pipeline. Solar Yermed has uh, been awarded for many, many uh, projects. Uh, that you can see here. The first one is uh, Albanova 1, a 12 megawatt plant in Corsica. Then we received the financial support from the French government for a 3 megawatt solar thermal boiler in Tunisia in collaboration with the uh, Tunisian electric utility called STEG. And more recently we were awarded for a project in the, uh, in the kingdom of Jordan, of Jordan uh, for a for a LF, uh, for a linear Fresnel project, and and the scope for the company is for the period of 2013 through 2017 to develop uh, a tangible project totalizing 370 megawatts in various regions such as Southern Europe, the Mediterranean, and African regions. Can you move on to the next slide, please? So to understand why the annual software SAM is relevant for Solar Euromed, I would like to uh, first describe the company's framework. So <clears throat> we are um, supplying equipment and services at every state, uh, uh, stage of the CSP plant life cycle. Firstly, during the development stage, we are providing engineering services and during the construction, we are uh, supplying a turnkey uh, solution for solar steam boilers with pr proprietary technology. And eventually, during the commissioning and the operation, we provide O&M services. So can you move on to the next slide, please? I would like to introduce uh, as well our project and plans we have. So firstly, uh, a brief technology track record on our demonstration systems. The first one was is called Augustin Fresnel 1 that was completed uh, in 2010. 
It is located in the Temis technology platform in the French Pyrenees. <coughs> this project was in the collaboration of the laboratory CNRS, PROMES. So this demonstration plan provided us a strong basis, basic, basic, sorry, for the construction of current and future projects and uh, helped SolarioMed to increase its expertise. And at the moment, we are working as well on a breakthrough super system called LFR500 that will um, operate at high temperature, high temperature higher than 500 degrees Celsius, and it will help us to decrease costs by increasing yields and lowering uh, thermal losses. So then with the next slide, <coughs> We will see that uh, an, an interesting um, and accurate simulation of how the CSP plant is very important is uh, mainly for commercial uh, projects. So first, I'd like to mention uh, the few commercial projects we have. The, one of them is called Albanova One, which is the French, French largest innovative solar power plant. Uh, it, is, it was awarded in 2012. It is a 12 megawatt electric utility scale with thermal uh, in, uh, storage. And uh, I can say that Solar Urmed was chosen by the French government as the most valuable company to carry out this project. More recently, like I said previously, we were awarded for a Jordan project called Jordan WECSP. Uh, it will be the first linear personal technology in, uh, implemented in this country, and uh, <clears throat> this is a region that interests us a lot because it has very high DNI, so um, it will be our first step to our deployment in the Middle East region to gain, and it will help us to gain expertise and anticipate our future projects. So um, we were awarded uh, for this project on a competitive standard. And we, we won it because we, uh, thanks to accurate modeling uh, software that we have developed uh, in, internally. And uh, this is the reason why we wanted to uh, understand other uh, software that design uh, CSP project, such as SAM, where that is a very relevant um, software. Can you go on the next slide? Okay, so after explaining why we want to have and why we want to understand how SAM works, um, I will show a comparison of uh, our in-house software and the software SAM. So firstly, I'd like to introduce the SAM that is a very good uh, tool for linear final modeling because it has regular updates to enhance its accuracy. And it is widely used throughout the world because it is a recognized software and uh, most of industry use that. Besides, it has very good optical simulations that enables us to uh, <coughs> simulate very good thermal production and uh, thermal models. However, if you want to use that for solar environment technology, you have to know several limitations. The first one <coughs> is that uh, it is applicable only for superheated steam, uh, as stated in the document um, result and comparison for the SAM linear Fresnel technology performance models made by Mike Wagner in 2012. And the, the fact that it's not applicable for uh, saturated steam is that it doesn't enable us to simulate for uh, industrial processes that require steam, but saturated steam, such as, for instance, a uh, few processes of uh, enhanced oil recovery or mining process, etc., etc. Besides, it's hardly not possible to simulate uh, the solar Euromed uh, electrical produ production. This is due to the fact that we cannot modify the turbine load curve in the software. And eventually, it is, limit, it is limited. Uh, it is a limited model for storage because it is at the moment only for power growth and towers. 
So in the future, it will help us to have as well that in uh, linear framework. So now, can you go on the next slide, please? Okay. So in order to understand the comparison, I want to do a quick, uh, quick de description of our in-house software. So first, you have to know that it uh, designed a linear Fresnel technology, and the, the, the outputs of this software are energetical and economical outputs. Uh, like you can see, <clears throat> the purpose of this software is very similar to, to the SAM's purpose. So this is the reason why we were interested in this comparison. Well, I, I, like you can understand, the software is as the set of being adaptable and flexible for our technology. And uh, as well, it, pro it is possible to simulate hybrid systems like thermal only and uh, co-generating system. But However, it has a limitation is that it's not really possible to use this software for other companies or other people because this is uh, a tailor-made uh, solution for only solar human. Can you go on the next slide, please? Okay, so now I will we, we go further in the comparison of software. So we were working on <coughs> comparison and our in-house software with um, implementing similar outputs such as the location, weight of data, losses coefficient, mirrors apertures, etc., etc. And the aim of our of our study was to uh, understand its, its each stage, sorry, of the um, the simulation. So the thermal outputs and then the electrical outputs. Our conclusion was that. There were similarities for some outputs. Actually, it was quite good, but we couldn't <coughs> simulate directly the uh, electrical uh, production because, uh, like I said previously, SAM doesn't enable us to modify the turbine load curve. So we decided to bypass it by uh, taking the uh, thermal outputs from SAM, then we put it in our in-house software, generated. Uh, and implement the <coughs> the electrical outputs back into the SAM option generic system, then to go further in the analysis. So can you go on the next slide, please? So we focused <coughs> our uh, comparison in uh, various locations and various designs. So, for instance, we choose to simulate with designs with different powers, different uh, pressure, different mm, different aperture, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And as well, we decided to do that in location with uh, location that are very different. Different. The first location we chose is uh, a plant we know very well in Solar Yomed, AN1, which is Alba Nova One. Then we chose a, a very well-known in the software SAM Daggett with a high DNI. And eventually we chose um, a location with metronome-based uh, databases uh, in a location uh, that we are interested in, in Tunisia, uh, because we plan to have uh, several projects in this country. So like you can see in these tables and graphs, uh, there are quite uh, little discrepancies during uh, discrepancies due to the seasonality of the um, of the software. So, for instance, in this graph, we can see that uh, at the, by the end of the year, um, SAM produces less energy than what we have found. However, these uh, deviations uh, led us to uh, annual discrepancies, always under three percent for each case, uh, each study case. Case study, sorry. So we can say that it is quite a clear rate and there are lots of similarities. And can you go to the next slide, please? So then we, we decided to go, to go more in detail in this uh, comparison and we <coughs> focused then on daily productions. So as you can see on the right side, we have a, a quite normal uh, day production with electrical and thermal outputs, 
and we base our study on many many days uh, on many many days and we figured out that most of the days had similar uh, conclusions highlighted in the left hand side graph so what we found is that there were um, differences during um, startup time and shutdown time, um, but this uh, deviation are not very important because, like you can see, this moment are low production moments. So annually and monthly, these not have very significant uh, differences. Uh, however, these discrepancies are always very low. It never has, uh, overpassed 3%. So what we suspect is that the startup time and the shut shutdown time are quite transitory time that maybe the two software have, uh, well, let's say differences. So can you go on the next slide, please? So to sum up our work uh, consisted in uh, comparing the SAM software and our in-house software that is based on uh, experience for uh, we have for current projects. So <clears throat> the conclusion were basically that thermal outputs have very low discrepancies, uh, like we see previously, most of the time under three percent. The main discrepancies are during startup and shutdown time which doesn't impact a lot the, um, the, the global outputs. And uh, what we would like to add is that this software is very relevant, but mostly for the thermal outputs. The electrical output needs bypass, so you cannot really simulate solar geomet plants for the electrical outputs. Besides, we would like to suggest ideas for improvements for the development of future SAM updates. So we had a few ideas. The first one is the possibility of modifying the turbine load curve that would help to simulate the electrical output. Then to include storage like you did in power brick troughs and solar, uh, and solar towers. Uh, besides, we, we will, the possibility of <clears throat> um, of doing different uh, plants, such as co-generating plants, hybrid plants, and thermal only plants, it would be great to incorporate uh, saturated steam for uh, the um, the industrial uh, um, the industrial steam applications. So we already discussed with some uh, about these topics, and we would uh, be grateful to uh, add and co collaborate for any improvements. Can you go on the next slide, please? So I would like to thank you for your attention uh, uh, with this presentation, and I would like briefly to let you know that Solar Yourmed will contribute to the next Solar Paces edition in Las Vegas with various uh, collaborations. The, the first <coughs> paper will be about talking about acceptance testing procedures for linear frenal reflectors. Then we have a second one with modeling the social economic impacts for the development of CSP in a national and international context. And eventually we'll have two posters, one about the advantages of linear frenal technology in the Middle East country, and eventually uh, tracking and motorizing system linear frenal reflector technology. Uh, all right, so this is it for the presentation. I uh, thank you again and 